We're about to go, we're about to show you how it is to get to the World Cup. Yeah, man. We've been playing the World Cup since you were seven years old. Mase, you told me that you were going to say my football before you knew my name. Yeah. And right about now, you go to Qatar. You know, like you're on the hit, you're going to be a game. So, what's up? The biggest game of them all. Mende na Muzha Kabati, Senegal, England. We there. How's you? Peace. Good life. Ah, yeah, that was it. It begins at the hotel. After this, it's out and ready to face the night. The night is calm but does not reflect the sweet underbelly that is about to erupt. It begins with the metro service that is offered for free if you have a higher card. <laughs> A higher card offers entry into Qatar and Dubai for this World Cup once you have paid for your match ticket, air ticket, and confirmed your accommodation. You get one. Let me teach you one soil word. If you are a fan of football, in soil you say Shabiki. But maybe this time, excellent. After that, services such as this metro are free. What do you think? Go on, go on. 10 minutes. From the metro, one is met with a simmering football pleasure. This pleasure is palpable. And Shatter and I join the festivities. Now, the easiest way to make friends is to start a football conversation. Once out of the metro, it's a pre-game hype like no other. Once we exit the metro, after about 15 kilometers or so, it's time to get to the buses. <laughs> Literally, hundreds of buses are waiting for you to take you to the stadium free of charge, complete with Wi-Fi. The journey will take another 30 minutes. And soon, we begin to see the stadium. We are almost there. And as many nations converge, you will find that starting a dance is the universal string that ties us all together. We are almost there. Greeted by magnificent sights and sounds, the lines are expansive but are moving pretty fast. The excitement once again palpable. You can almost taste it. And pretty soon, one by one, we make our way through the security check. And then they check once again for your hire card and your ticket. And now, we are welcomed by this robust marvel of architecture. Today, it is England versus Senegal. And we are supporting Senegal. Let's do this! Yeah, but before half time, things are not looking good. But we keep on. <laughs> During half time, Shaka is very sad because uh, Senegal is 2 0. It's a time to breathe and take it all in. We are in Doha, Qatar for the World Cup 2022. It's only just dawning on us. At the end of the game, it's a loss for Senegal. Right, man, as you can see, uh, the game has ended. It's just a couple of fans. But I'm not shooting out. It's been uh, quite an intense game for Senegal, and they have lost. So it's, it's, uh, it's a sad day for them. It's a sad day for you, It's a sad day for me. You know, it's a sad day for every African fan because Senegal has not lost this game because they couldn't play. It's because we went out there and we played the English game. 
you know hakuna mtu ameka ball chini you see england know how to play high balls you will start playing high balls they tell you welcome thank you yeah. welcome to yeah. let's play our game yeah. you know but if you put the ball down against england you beat them and we are doing it for the first 32 minutes we were above them when we went on that first half we came back from that changing room we came a totally different team tunapiga mpira yao this is the result we get yeah, it was quite unfortunate because even if you look at the way the game is being played uh they were not hungry enough in front of goal i feel that's true uh they were not ile kujituma hapo na jituma so it's quite a, a sad day there were hopes they played well but uh, england to be honest showed up and they showed up ready they showed they have the metal the strength and what it takes to go will they make it against france no 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 well <laughs> the only african team that we have Morocco. that can fight for us now is france against <laughs> england <laughs> anyway let's see what, what happens i don't think they have more reflex to beat france yeah because i think france understands their game France is not going to play high balls. Yeah. France has basic players in the in, in the Mbappe's of this world. Mbappe having five goals already. He, he has that motivation to keep going. You know, being defending champions, they are, they have outlived that class in group stage. So the momentum is with France. So England is going to face a tough game against France. But this World Cup has showed us there is no small game. Any team can beat any team. It depends with who shows up that day. And today we didn't show up. And that day it will depend with who shows up. However, it is a win for experience. We are both super excited to have witnessed history. So that's how you do it. That's how you get things done. And that is how we experience the World Cup. One shutter boy. Very sad that uh, Team Yaki Hai could progress. But it is what it is, as they say. I tell you what though, it is indeed a learning curve to see such dedication, such order, such infrastructure and to hope that one day we will get there. The bigger hope, and not just as a nation will get there, some of the infrastructure and all, but as a team, no as one stars, will also get there. We can only continue to hope and dream. From the Albaid Stadium in Doha, Qatar, my name is Willis Raburu from Citizen TV.